Aloha YouTube and what you know, my name is Domino with the Zero and welcome to episode 26 of our new-ish Pokemon Ultra Moon Expanded Let's Play where we're doing the most in-depth playthrough of this game on YouTube. In the last episode we took on Mallow's Trial and struggled our way through it but did manage to win thanks to our most reliable team member. If you want to check that out before today's episode, make sure you hit the iCloud up at the top of the screen. Now in today's episode, uh, we're going to make our way down towards the lab. I don't remember the name of the lab, but we're going to make our way down towards the lab, and I imagine that's going to be this episode, but we might start doing some Lapras backtracking. So if you're excited for today's episode of Pokemon Ultra Moon, make sure you hit the like button down below. Do subscribe if you're new. We can make this the best let's play on YouTube like I think it could be but I need your help so hit the like button share the video out with someone that you think will enjoy it let's get let's get some people watching this all right <clears throat> let's start off with a team recap because since the last video I've gone to work I've eaten like twice so first up we have Arukenimon the pet of the team our level 23 Araquanid <clears throat> with Bug Bite, Bubble Beam, Infestation, and Bite. Um, infestation was not as good as I was thinking it was going to be in the last episode. Um, but we're holding the Quick Clock because we are extremely slow. Next up, we have Negative Vibes, our level 24 Snorlax, the most reliable member of our team. Uh, with Chip Away, Brick Break, Defense Curl, and Amnesia holding the leftovers. Then we have Lindsay, our level 24 Rock Ruff. Uh, special Rock Ruff with Rock Tomb, Bite, Thunder Fang, Tackle, holding the Normalium Z. It's almost time to start using Lindsay again. <laughs> then we have Oricorio, our level 15 mascot. The we have Frisco, our level 24 uh, Oricorio. Oh my goodness. With Air Cutter, Peck Pound, and Feather Dance, holding the Sharp Beak. Then we have Buttons, our level 23 starter. Um, Dartrix with Razor Leaf, Peck Tackle, and Ominous Wind, holding the Flyanium Z. And then we have Jet, our level 23 favorite, Umbreon, with Faint Attack, Bite, Quick Attack, Sand Attack, Horn the Amulet Coin. <clears throat> that was a horrible team intro. That was a horrible team recap. Yes. Flyanium Z will not work on my Dartrix. In fact, I'm going to actually use Dartrix. I have not. I have I have been ignoring Dartrix because if you remember when we went up against Lana, why is <sighs> Rotom hasn't been bugging me for the last several episodes and now all of a sudden he's starting to bug me. Um but let's see here. We uh, oh yeah, I was talking about Dartrix, so I'm going into uh oh Hey, Domino, how's it? I heard you... <clears throat> <clears throat> I knew I heard your footsteps. I finished up Mello's trial and ate down every last bit of that Super Mello special of hers. Boy, that was good enough to break the mouth. You're heading to the Dimensional Research Lab? You just keep on going straight away this way. Maybe I'll catch you there later. <clears throat> what was the point of that? Like, I've already been told that it's past Route 6. I've already been told that it's this... Hold on. It's towards Royal Avenue? It is. Okay. So we've already done everything that you can do here. Let's go ahead and make our way. I see no reason not to. What do you want? Wait a sec. How do I get to Paniola Town again? Was it by going down Route 4? Or, um... Is that just like for... Oh, crap. Go, Nebby! Use... Use Splash! What? Nebby? You! Eh, I was just acting like I was Domino. Oh, wait, I'm not doing her voice. Yeah, I am. You... You always seem to end up getting hurt, Nebby. Seeing that pain me just as much as if I was the one being hurt. But if I could become as strong as Hal and Domino are, then maybe things would be different. You? Oh! <clears throat> um, oh, Domino, hello. I feel like it's been a while since we last met. There, there's a laboratory here that studies the dimensions, did you know? And the professor is waiting to meet you. How, how are your trials? It must be quite trying to do three in a row. 
It was actually really tough, which is really good. I'm enjoying how tough the game is. I would think so, but still, you made it through all three. I think that explains it. The reason you look so confident, uh, so content, and understood by Dartrix there, I mean. All right, Lily, um, hold that thought. I'll be there in a minute. Why do people keep kicking me off Tauros? 34 stickers down. I feel like I've missed some. <clears throat> I hate having to clear my voice this often, but... Or having to clear my throat this often. But I just finished eating, and uh, I always have to clear my throat like a billion times. Kala Island has three captains. They specialize in each different water, fire, and grass. I never even realized that. Actually, you know what? I think I did know that. I think I did know that, actually. My job to take hotel guest Pokemon out for walks and exercise. Or from the Tide Song Hotel? Which we need to go back to the Tide Song Hotel. I think we missed some stuff. If I can get this stick and span, if I can get this spick and span, I win. Cleaning is like a game, you know? You're trying to you trying to compete? Who's got the best cleaning skills? You want me to do something? Make it a competition. You want me to do something like Never mind. Your chances of encountering a shiny Pokemon are 4,000 to 1. About 4,000. Isn't it like 4,000 something something and something something? 36 stickers. Getting to help everyone play the game that I helped make. It's a dream come true. Ciao! You no, know, I just love getting to meet so many trainers no matter where I go in the world. The fairy is the cutest. Uh, I disagree. Cluff is, the, Cluff is relatively cute. The other two suck. The game director, the Rotom Dex is pretty fun. If you manage to fill all of your Pokedexes, come and show me. <clears throat> oh dear, you're a player. We've been making games here. What color would you choose? Oh crud. Um, do I want a Fire Stone, Leaf Stone, Water Stone? I have a Water Stone. I don't know what needs a Firestone to evolve, but I feel like if I had it, that could open up some doors for me something. Or thread. I'd say you're probably the type who stays true to your heart and says what you want. Yep, ignore me, I'm stupid. Everybody here, Game Freak loves sweets. Leave candy or anything sitting around, it will be gone in no time. Here, I'll share a sweet drink with you. Take it from me. This is not candy. Tease me by saying candy. Alright, what you want? Are you out and about in your island challenge? When you've completed it, come on back. Don't forget about me here, okay? I will not forget about you. How could I forget about you? Keep on going up. Try to find some more trial stickers. What did I just say? I need three more, and we're definitely going to get those before we do... I feel like this is new. What is this? Eighth... Oh, this is not new. Never mind. I just don't remember it. This is... This looks new. Those Team Skull buffoons, they hurt Pokemon as if it's fun or something. wonder if we should go fight... If, sh if we should also fight to stop the evil actions of Team Skull. With the Aether Foundation, we work to help protect Pokemon that have been hurt. Reasons, blah, 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 blah. Wait, what? Left Pokeball. Wait, what? Wait, 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 wait. Hold up. What? Does the relationship between Pokemon and trainers never change even when one of them goes missing? Trainer who passed away. All we know is that he was from Ula Ula Island. I hope you can find something. See, the one time I don't read something is, it's when, it's, is when it's important. Are you kidding me? More freshwater still? Your HP has to be fully recovered by now. What do you think makes Pokemon happy? What is happiness anyway? For me, it is... It's... Enough to have friends that I can go eat with and have fun together with. Hey, you find your happy, my guy. That's up to you. But you've got to have happiness within yourself. You're getting deep out here. All right, uh, let's go ahead and head back this way. How come I always almost go back upstairs? What game have I played that the way I try to do that, me? As a tunnel enthusiast, I absolutely have to pin down the difference between Diglett, Diglett's cave in Kanto and Diglett's tunnel in Alola. And Diglett's tunnel lies just past that sign. 
Oh, thank you for the camera pan. All right, well, now that we're finally here. 38 totem stickers. Let's go! What is this place? Is this, this guy's house? I'd really love to see an unbelievable Mantine surfer skilled enough to take the top rank spot in every one of Alola's four surf spots. Pikachu! Pikachu. Pikachu. Had a portable radio that was used for years and years. It's playing familiar surfing songs just like the ones you heard in the old days. Oh, this, is, this guy's a surfer, isn't he? I'll be back one day. One day, my guy, I will Mantine surf my way to number one. Alright, here we go. Now, before we go take on the kahuna of this island, we are going to backtrack with our Lapras. We are going to backtrack a bit. Oh, I just walked in here for the first time. Went to the Dimensional Research Lab, aren't you? Anyone could tell that. After all, there's nothing else upstairs. Dimensional Research, huh? That reminds me of something I heard about some rare Pokemon that can use rings to teleport spells to help these people. <sighs> I don't really want to read everything out loud, but then I kind of do want to read everything out loud. Now, wait a minute. They said that there was nothing else upstairs. Hey there, honey. Uh, let's see. I can't just give her like a, like a generic voice. Oh, hi. I don't know. I'm not good at women's voice. This here is Professor Burnett. She runs the Dimensional Research Lab. Yeah, and she's also my wife. You're Domino, right? Lily told me about you. She said that you were the reliable sort. Three months ago, I found Lily lying on a beach. Cosmog in her bed, also unconscious. Hmm, know how today? How? He's not doing his own thing. But he'll be the real deal someday. He could even become a kahuna just like Old Hollow before him. You really think so? Whoa, ho! Well, yeah, I really do. Good to see you again, Hal. It's been a while since I la last saw you. Anyhow, I brought Domino here because I wanted him. I wanted you to tell him. About, oh my gosh, about some of the mysterious phenomena here in Alola. I'd be happy to. Mysteries of Alola, huh? And you've got to mean Ultra Wormhole. It's extremely rare, but sometimes a hole opens in the sky over Alola. It appears that this rift leads to a different and unknown dimension. The reason that people think there may be a mysterious dimension is because of the legends of fearsome Pokemon appearing from the Ultra Wormhole. Phew! It's very weak as proof, but I can't ignore it. There's also plenty of evidence already in the Pokedex for the existence of different dimensions, right? Here's some Pokemon! Even normal wild Pokemon sometimes attack people, right? But the Pokemon that appeared from the Ultra Wormhole went way beyond that. They were called Ultra Beasts, and they were feared. If the stories are to be, to be believed, the guardian deities of the island fought desperately against them. But like I said, it's all legends and folk tales. It's hard to know how much is true. But I would be very happy if I could somehow unravel the mysteries of the Ultra Wormhole, wormhole by studying the dimensional disturbances. We've recorded several known relationships between Pokemon in different dimensions and books. You can find them on the bookshelves in this lab. All right, so let's see what we got here. Bronzong. It brought <coughs> it brought rains by opening portals to another world. It was revered by as a bringer of plentiful harvest. Halkia. Its total control over the boundaries of space and able to transport itself into a into itself to faraway places or even other dimensions. I think it would probably be wise not to mess with the like creator of time. Maybe that, maybe that should be a new thought process for you. <clears throat> there are many writings about the inner dream zone that exists between reality and dreams. Wait, what? Uh, po po po. <laughs> Slow po 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 po. Magnemite. Phew. Professor Burnett was previously studying dimension called the inner dream zone. There's a man named Moan who years ago published his theories about the Ultra Wormholes. Really? It just hit me. You, you're not using battle boxes, are you? Good grief. If you want to use battle boxes, check your PC, blah, blah, blah. I don't need to hear about battle boxes. Why did the text get blurry? 
If you use the versus recorder, blah, 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 blah. I don't need the versus. All right, who's the trigger? Who's the trigger? Not how. Being able to go to more places really makes it feel like you're growing along with your partner. Pokemon, huh? It's pretty great. Lily was the trigger. You want to know what happened three months ago? Well, I'd wanted to learn more about Nebby. I mean, about Cosmog. So I decided to come speak to Professor Burnett. But I got lost along the way and ended up wandering about until I collapsed on the shore. She listened to my story, staying up all night to hear it all. Then she even got her husband, Professor Kukui, to lend me his loft to stay in. She told him to keep me to... Blah, blah, blah. But she told him to help me investigate Nebby's origins, too. Professor Burnett has been so kind, and she's still helping me try to find a way to get Nebby back to its own home. She's been like... Like a real mother to me. Oh. Right in the heart. Right in the heart. Pew! We recorded several known relationships between Pokemon in different dimensions and books. You can find them on the bookshelves in this lab. Alright, Kukui. How about that, Domino? If Ultra Beasts are really out there, I wonder what kind of moves they can use. They can probably use four moves. You finished all three of a college trials. Woo! And now comes the big match against Olivia, the island Kahuna. It's the biggest and baddest trial of them all here in Akala. The Grand Trial. Good luck. Olivia's house is past Diglett's Tunnel. It's in Kogi Kony Kony City. I still have some things I want to talk to Professor Burnett about, so I'll stay here. Being able to go to more places really makes it feel like you're growing along with your partner Pokemon, huh? It's pretty great. I already told you this, but I'm telling you again. All right, let's make our way. Oh, we got through that a lot faster than I thought we would. T B H. All right, here we go. Let's go ahead and check on out. Let's tunnel. Ooh. Okay, okay, we've seen this once before. I don't know if I'd ever heard it before though. What was that just now? It looked like a crack in the sky? Hey, Domino! You made it through all three captain trials, yeah? Then you should go meet Kahuna Olivia. She lives in the town past Nicholas Tunnel. Nicholas Tunnel is... Let's see. From here, it's kind of near the PMC. It's easy to rush right past... It's easy to walk right past it, though. So keep your eyes peeled. Now, it's Malasada time for me! Alright, Nicholas Tunnel. What a lucky bunch. I want to have a place named after me. Oh, I should have said the Roto Tunnel. I didn't even see that was an option. I wasn't paying that close of attention. Roto, shut up. Roto Lotto time! Ooh, I got some berries. Ooh, I got some berries. Oh, PP Restores, okay. So, here's what I need to do. If you recall... Let's do some backtracking. We're going to do some backtracking for here and maybe through the next episode. I'm going to try and get it done quick. But um, the first thing that we need to do is we talked to someone in the Tide Song Hotel who said that he had three friends that were missing. And I, w I just want to check and see because we didn't really look. Should I just be honest? I kind of know where they are already because I accidentally saw it in the other Let's Play that I'm watching, which... Upsets me, but that's okay. I'm gonna talk to this guy. Oh, there, did you need me for something? So, if you remember, the guy says that he, um, uh, he had, he had been without his friends for like 30 years or something, and didn't know where they were, or something, something like that. That's all I really remember, but all I know is where they're at. I haven't seen what happens after you talk to them. Oh, sheesh, you guys. Where have you all gone off to? It's been 30 years. How am I supposed to know where you would go to meet now? Oh, yes, I am. Thank you very much. So it's the Tide Song Hotel. Is that it? I managed to do a different woman's voice. <clears throat> We're all about diversity out here. Let me talk to Oak real quick. <clears throat> Oh, young Domino, I've been hoping to see you again. So you've collected 39 totem stickers. Hunting them down is quite the task, isn't it? The captains and trial guys work hard to stick totem stickers up all around Alola. Searching them out should surely help you progress to your... I I'm so mad I talked to you again. You, youngster, have you seen a group of old farts like me around here anywhere? 
Why did you call yourself an old fart? Yes, yes, that's exactly who I was looking for. Oh, what a relief. Our meeting place was torn down, you see. I'll be off to that hotel once then. Thank you. Thanks again. Alright, so I do need to do Mantine Surf at some point. Also, did I miss something over here? Oh, I guess not. Okay, I wasn't sure if I missed a try a totem sticker. But let's go ahead and head in here. Now that guy right there, I need to catch a magmar for him. Let's go ahead and go up this old people room where they're probably dancing and having a disco and dancing the jig and all this other stuff. Also, this shirt is insanely bright in this webcam. <clears throat> Whatever. Boy, it really takes you back, doesn't it? Really, do, you really remember everybody, don't you? Whoop! You're all just the same as ever. You're the one who is just the same. In fact, you look younger now than you did back then. It's not easy, I'll have you know. I've been using that Marini treatment, see? A touch of that poison spike to your face and... Ish! No thank you! It sounds so painful, I don't even want, want to hear it. Ha ha! Ha ha! You two haven't changed at all. <clears throat> Do I have to watch this reunion? My friends, the world may have changed around us, but we will never change. Even if they did make my old house into a Pokemon Center. Even if folks go surfing on Mantine now, instead of pedaling around in boats like we used to. We're still alive and we're going to have a good old time. What do you say? Sounds good to me. Woo! 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 Do! 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 Woo! Do! Honey. Now. Take this with my thanks, if you please. What? As you get older, the number of friends you have left gets fewer and fewer. You gotta treasure those you have left. That is so, so true. This is a children's game, so allow me to speak into your life if you're younger. Identify those who are closest, who are actually trustworthy friends, because others will drift, and that's okay. It's okay for friends to drift when you get older. It's okay. It doesn't have to be a big fight. It doesn't have to be anything like that. But I know that in my life, I have two best friends. Period. That's it. If anything goes down, if everything goes down, I know there are two people, aside from my parents, aside from Jesus, that I can turn to that are going to have my back. You gotta find those. You gotta find those. Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna head down to uh, Mele Mele Island, uh, where we will be doing some Lapras backtracking. Our goal will be to finish it all in one episode. Don't know if that'll be possible. What episode's next? Episode 27? Oh my gosh, we're getting near an hour of power. Whoa! I'm not used to hour of power. Um, episode 30, hour of power. I think the, I'm pretty sure the, I, well, I can't remember after Diglett's Tunnel. I thought there was another trial. Hold on, let me look at the map. Look at this map. Hey, no, I don't want to explore Diglett's Tunnel for now. Why don't you just shut up and show me the map? Okay, so like when I go down here, isn't there another trial? No, that's where Olivia is. All right, we might aim for the next grand trial to be episode number 30. So that we can do a an hour of power on it. Wait, wait, wait a second. No, 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 let's do that in the next episode. Let's do that in the next episode, because we have a couple of missions that we need to take care of over here. But let's go ahead and wrap up today's episode right there. Today's episode was mostly just getting us prepared. Um, we did go to the Dimensional Research Lab where we met Professor Burnett for the first time, talked with Kukui, talked with Lily, talked with Howe, 
got ourselves planned up. We're gonna be heading to Olivia's as soon as we finish backtracking with Lapris, which I'm gonna try and do all of that in the next episode. I don't know what all it's gonna entail though, so we'll see how it goes. If you enjoyed today's episode, make sure you hit the like button down below. Do subscribe if you're new. I have high goals, high goals for the next year. I think we can make it, but I'm gonna need your help to do so. I think this is a huge project. So help me out by leaving a like and sharing out the video. We'll see you for the next episode of our Ultra Moon Expanded Let's Play. Until then, have a blessed day.